week and Anello answers it. It's a question from many of you, but most recently, Terry Foster wrote in and asked about types of weather modification. Well, it's a great question, widely studied and becoming quite widely used. The most common form of weather modification is called cloud seeding. We use it in areas that are experiencing a whole lot of drought. However, we also use it in very rural areas, places with a whole lot of farms and large areas full of crop structure. Now, here's the deal. When we have a cloud that we need to rain or is going to rain, that water has to bind to a separate particle called a condensation nuclei. Water droplet bonding with water droplet doesn't do the job to make it rain. So naturally, that condensation nuclei, what the water binds to, is typically pollen or dust in the upper atmosphere or ash from a fire nearby. However, what happens when those things aren't present and we just can't get it to rain or it's taking so long that the hailstone that's going to fall is massive and could be devastating to farmers. Well, we cloud seed, which means we fi fly a plane right over a cloud and we introduce silver iodide. We put so much of it into a cloud that that becomes the condensation nuclei. The water freezes and binds to those molecules and it gives us rain or a whole lot of hailstones. The question is, what is silver iodide and is it dangerous? Well, no, we've been cloud seeding and studying that for 40 years. And in fact, your average table salt has more iodide in it than what is injected into these clouds. So why exactly do we use it and what are the main benefits? Well, in areas that are farmland, when we put that silver iodide, it allows the water to form and the ice to form faster. So rather than several very large destructive hailstones, we get a whole lot of little ones. That means that your crops can live a whole lot longer without being destroyed. Additionally, it gives us more rain and more snow in drought prone areas. And there's new research near airports where we're cloud seeding into fog to be able to dissipate that fog and allow airlines to continue their planes on schedule. That's all for Nello Answers at this week. If you have a weather question, be sure to email it to me at gnello at waytv.com because I would love to hear from you.